What we have today is an operating system for smartphones, an operating system for tablets, an operating system for smartwatches, and multiple systems, perhaps for vehicles. In a new era, the many IoT devices have limited RAM and processing power, yet it is essential they have longer battery life. If different devices run on different systems, the ecosystems and the experiences will be fragmented. This is why we develop Harmony OS. Welcome to BlackBerry France. Uh, Huawei just launched their own operating system. They presented themselves as an operating system for all IoT devices. Today I am going to discuss the future of one operating system and opportunity of BlackBerry in this segment. Huawei demands that they have made harmony ways for all kind of smart devices such as smartphone, smart watches, smart car, smart TV and many more. Somebody says that this is not a possible this is not possible with the, the harmony ways. They have different ways but uh, call them as the harmony ways. But I will uh, discuss on operating system only. Huawei proved themselves uh, as capable of uh, an excellent job on their devices. When Apple started making their iPhone, they made their own SoC for that phone. But they were using Intel chips for Macbook. Last year, uh, Apple revealed the IM1 chip for a Macbook. M1 and Apple's S-Series chips are uh, almost identical. Finally, they launched the iPad Pro with M1 chip, run iPadOS. iPadOS runs iOS app, not macOS app. So, iPad Pro use uh, PC chip but run mobile app. So, we can uh, realize Apple is trying to make one platform for all IoT devices like Huawei. Google has an Android operating system for smartphone and tablets. They also have Chrome OS for PC and tablet. Chrome OS allows running Android and Linux apps, but it doesn't mean this is the step of uh, making one operating system. Google allows this to increase the popularity of Chrome OS and can compete with uh, Windows and Mac OS. Long time there was a rumor Google is working on Fuchsia OS which might have been the replacement of Android but a few days ago we found out uh, that Google will launch Google Nest app which will run Fuchsia OS and Fuchsia OS is not a replacement for Android this is an operating system that will run all smart devices such as uh, smartphone laptop desktop tablet nest etc so google is also working on one operating system hopefully we will get a fuchsia OS a smartphone in 2023 windows had a mobile operating system for lack of apps availability microsoft had to shut it down but in the last years Microsoft has been working on uh, Windows 10x it's not seem to be a smartphone operating system but it was made for mobile device uh, named Microsoft Neo unfortunately Microsoft Neo was cancelled last week I sense Microsoft didn't want to leave field of smartphone operating system <music> So now we can sense every major software company wants to make one operating system which can be used on all devices of IoT. But there is a need for security because all devices will be connected by one account. And we know that BlackBerry is the most secure and reliable software company in the past and present. BlackBerry was the first leader of a uh, smartphone revelation blackberry was struggling in 2015 but they had to keep working on innovation motorola had to struggle also but uh, they were trying to keep their existence 
Now they are going to grab a remarkable position in the smartphone market which sends BlackBerry should come forward in the competition. Uh, imagine if BlackBerry has BlackBerry OS smartphone, tablet, car, speaker, watch and many other IoT devices with great apps and service support which will be welcomed by corporate government and BlackBerry fans. We hope BlackBerry will consider this fact and should come back in the hardware business unless BlackBerry will face a new challenges as others are trying to grab all sectors of software. In the next video I will show you how BlackBerry software business are getting into trouble. Thank you for watching this video.